Hey guys, it's that Dividend Guy coming at you with a Robinhood portfolio update. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know, I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. Speaking of subscribers, guys, if you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet, go ahead and do that so you stay updated with all the content that I post on my channel. So for today, we are up over 400 bucks. We are at $42,940.05 at close today. And for the week, we are up over a grand, up 2.47%. For the month, we're up $733, up 1.74%. Three-month mark, we're up over $1,900, up 4.72%. For the year, we're up $7,400, up nearly 21% for the year. And then all-time, since April 13th of 2018, we are up $10,913.06, up 34%. Now jumping into the individual stocks and their performance. Starting off with Realty Income, the monthly paying dividend stock. We have 130 shares, $8,700 worth of market value. Average cost is $67.12. 20.4% uh, of the portfolio is in Realty Income. Today we're at $5.20. Total, we're up nearly $28 with a dividend coming in of $31.98 on the 15th. Then we've got Allstate. Three shares of this wonderful insurance company, $340 of market value. Average cost is around $121 a share. 0.8% of the portfolio is in Allstate. I will be buying into that with the dividends and cash that I receive once I get paid on Friday. Then today we are up $8, up 2.5%. Total, we're down 22 down a little over 6%. And a dividend coming in on January 3rd of $1.62. Then we've got Chubb with two shares, around $400 of market value. Average cost is right around $188 a share. 0.9% of the portfolio is in Chubb stock. Today we're up $284. Total we're up $1266, up 3.37%. Then we've got Altria. 250 shares, over $1,100,000 invested in the stock. Average cost is $46.90, 26.7% of the portfolio is in Altria. Today we are up $140, total we're down $234, down about 2% on Altria stock. Then we've got Procter & Gamble. We've got two shares, $317 of market value, average cost is right around $142 a share. 0.74% of the portfolio is in Procter & Gamble. Today we're up $1.22. Total we're up nearly $35, up over 12% on Procter & Gamble. And I do want to buy more of this company. I just don't want to buy it at these inflated prices. If I can get it near $140, which is right in between their high and low, I'd be really happy with that purchase. But I'm not buying it here since it's you know, 10 bucks, 12 bucks above my average cost. Then we got Clorox, two shares, market value is $352, average cost is $172, almost $173. 0.82% of the portfolio is in Clorox. Today, we are up nearly $7, up 2%. Total, we're up $6.67, up nearly 2% as well. Then we got AbbVie, 75 shares, $9,700 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $81 a share. 22.8% of the portfolio is in Ambi. Today we're up $218. Total we're up $3,600, a little well, over $3,600, up 60% on the Ambi position. Then we've got Aflac, 118 shares, $6,700 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $50 a share, $15.7. Or about 15.8% of the portfolio is in Aflac. Today we're up 22 bucks. Total we're up almost $900, up 15.33% on Aflac stock. This is my favorite insurance position in the portfolio. Then we've got Prudential Financial. 40 shares, $4,200 worth of market value. Average cost is $103 a share. Right around 10% of the portfolio is in Prudential stock. Today we're down 520. Total we're up over $146 up 3.5% with a dividend coming in on the 16th of $46. And then finally, finishing out the portfolio, we've got Traveler's Company, 
three shares, $475 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $151 a share. 1.1% of the portfolios and travelers. Today, we're up nearly $5. Total, we're up 23, up 5%, with a nice dividend coming in on the 31st of $2.64. So, overall, guys, we're doing really well. My goal was $40,000 for this year, and we're closing in on 43 k so that's, that's really good. For the year, we're up almost 21%. Let's see how we stack against the indexes. So, 21% against Berkshire. Speeding us by about 8%. Triple Q is up 31%, so we're lagging behind that quite heavily right now. Dow Jones is even. We're a little, we're beating it by a little bit, but not much. And then the S&P is uh, 28%. So we're doing relatively well, guys. Matching a couple of the indexes, but most of them are beating us out. But that's generally how it goes. Um, stock pickers don't generally beat the the overall market, so. I'm going for dividend growth investing, not capital appreciation. So I'm fine if I don't match the indexes. Really, it's all about how much my money's compounding year over year. And that uh, that twenty, nearly 21% compound rate is great. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad to be back. Remember, if you guys appreciate the videos, hit the like button and hit subscribe. Also, comment down below what's your favorite stock in the portfolios. Um, or comment a stock that you've been buying recently. That's always really cool to, to get people's insights on, you know, why they're buying certain stocks and, you know, kind of just discuss your favorites down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Robinhood portfolio update. Take care.